So the question for today is, are your fears or apprehensions about the future, your future, based in reality? I think this is a question that we need to spend some time on and think about so that you can have a more positive exploration. Leave your limitations, live and go against them, just like go and start up something new. Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out, everything that you built up, isn't what you want. And I know, I know, I know the life you're living, isn't that fulfilling, let me help you out. being based in reality. I'm not saying the fear isn't real. The fear feels real and there may be valid reason for concern. Anywhere from being concerned about what may happen to you if you try something and it doesn't work out, um, and happen to you might mean something with your finances, might mean something socially, um, it may affect your relationships, your marriage. You may also be worried about how you might be perceived in your friend group or even just in your little town, you know, or your immediate social group. All I can say to that is all the more reason to take baby steps, to not spend a bunch of money right off the bat, to have everything, you know, sleek and neat and perfect from the beginning, or at least appearing so. Don't invest in too much right away. Don't go out and get you know, some kind of loan or something for sure. No, you, you need to take baby steps. If you're wanting to start a business, selling whatever, if you're thinking that having a, a shop downtown or something is something that you would like to have, may I suggest not starting with that? Start with a little bit of inventory that you can handle from home. Sell it online or, or to friends and family at first and see if it takes off at all. And if you start getting more demand then, and you need more supply, then you can start looking at ways to grow. And eventually, you can have the shop. And hey, if you grow fast, well, awesome. Okay? Um, but just in case you don't, <laughs> um, you didn't venture out so far that you're regretting your decision to even try. As far as what other people will think, that should be really low on the totem pole. I think finances and your own self-care and, you know, your own ability to keep up with things as things grow and as you grow and develop as a new business owner or whatever it is you're seeking, those are the, the high stakes, okay? The social stuff, you know, if they're not supportive, maybe they weren't the best group of people to hang out with in the first place. But also, what other people think as far as, you know, you taking on this new endeavor, you know, like, you know, she really shouldn't do this, uh, that, I advise to ignore that. And might I, recommend that baby steps be your 
whole mantra with things because businesses, particularly big business, tries to make these really huge steps, you know, because they have this huge vision and they have billions of dollars and so, you know, why not? Let's do this, you know, and they try to do things fast. And I don't think it's great to have a goal, a timeline of how you're going to get something, a big project or new thing launched, planned out. But make sure your timeline is realistic and possibly the steps that you take are baby steps so that to ensure that things go as smoothly as possible. All the kinks are worked out in baby step one. And so we can move on to baby step two. Make sure that you have a handle on everything before moving on to the next thing. So there are other types of fears, um, maybe not necessarily related to starting a business, but you know, to any new endeavor that may not seem as rational, right? I mean, when you start something new, I think it's pretty common to picture all of these things going wrong and all of these people, you know, giving you negative feedback. I mean, we tend to focus on negative possibilities. Thinking along the positives, like, okay, that could happen, but in order to prevent that, we can do this. Or maybe it's a scenario where we're not gonna be able to please everybody, but this is what we're gonna go with because insert your rationale here. I think it's normal to have some sort of anxiety about what might happen and, what, and how people around you will react, especially if it's a big dream of yours that uh, is very important to you and you don't want to hear anything negative coming from other people but you know you might be surprised that you could have more support than you thought. When I went to major in theater you know sure I don't think family members or friends, for that matter, were really all that, you know, I don't, I don't really think they felt like it was really all that great of an idea, but they didn't actively try to stop me. It was my decision. Yeah, it cost a lot, and maybe I shouldn't have done it the way I did it. I probably should have taken this baby step advice, actually. But that's, that's how I learned about baby steps, right? By, by uh, doing things like that. And then there are fears like, I would come home from work wondering, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that to them. Maybe they didn't need to know that, or maybe they're gonna take that information and, and run with it in ways that I never intended or, you know, I, I was always rerunning scenarios in my mind about conversations I would have with people about work and wonder if it was going to come back to bite me somehow. I don't really do that so much anymore. And I think that that has to do with, uh, treating my general anxiety and having gone through multiple situations where now certain things don't seem uh, as difficult to me as they used to. You know, experience with something helps you have more confidence in how you are treating a situation uh, than when you first start. 
And I think that interest, I'm a very introspective person and I, I do a lot of self-reflection and I think that helps me in, in addition to talking things out with people. If you are finding that these negative thoughts, these fears, rational or not, um, come to your mind excessively, I, I advise seeing a counselor. The over, what is the overall message? The overall message is that fears and anxieties are normal about starting something new, but you can combat that several different ways. You know, do you have an encouraging friend? Do you, do you see a counselor? Do you have a baby step that you can start with? Just recognize, you know, what fears are worth, you know, spending some time on, like, such as financial fears. I, I come from uh, a working class family and finances are, I have been a real thing in my life. That is a major concern for me always, to never go back to that again. And uh, so for me, you know, as somebody who was bullied as a child and, and all of that, what other people think, while I do care, what they think is way low on the totem pole. So you may not be in that same frame of mind. I will say that your well-being up here physically, mentally, physically, emotionally, um, should be top. It should be at the top. Whatever your fears are and your apprehensions are, find the workaround. What is something you are willing to do? Willing, what, what is something you are willing and able to start doing today? That is all I have. This is Christy with Positive Exploration, and I will see you next time.